Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Microsoft Excel. This screencast covers section 5.3, Summary Statistics. They say that a picture paints a thousand words, and this is why you should always plot a graph of your data. But in almost every report, we have to describe our data in words and figures, particularly when we are comparing data sets. To do this, we use a set of widely accepted concepts and statistics termed descriptive or summary statistics the most important of which are described in section 5.3 of the book. Many programs have a single command that will calculate these statistics for a data set. This screencast is going to show you how to do this using data from table 10.4 regarding the height of periwinkles on the lower shore. In most cases the programs will give you the mean, median, lowest and highest value and interquartile range along with variance, standard deviation and others. For skewness and kurtosis, see my screencast on Is my data normally distributed? I've already loaded the data from 10.7 into Excel. To do the test, track up to data and click. Track along to data analysis and click. A window opens. Track down to descriptive statistics and select and click OK. I now need to tell Excel which data I want it to analyse. I do this by pressing the selection button on the input range box and a selection window opens. I track down and select all of the data in column A, including the label, and go back and press the selection enter button. My range is now placed in the input range box. I'm now going to click the labeling first row box because my label was part of the data. I now have to decide where I want Excel to place the descriptive statistics. I'm going to have it place it on this worksheet. I'm going to click the output range radio button. I'm going to press the selection button in the adjacent box. I'm going to click on column C1 and back up to the enter selection button and then press OK to run the test. As you can see, Excel has displayed several summary statistics for this data set. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.